All right, guys. Well, here's a comparison I know you all have been really waiting for. Because these are literally the two cheapest batteries on Amazon right now. The Yumi Power. And these Garth Pot batteries. <clears throat> both of these batteries come with Traxxas ends. They're both 5200 milliamp. And this is 50C, this one's 80C. And I wish this damn camera would focus. You would think if you spent 300 some dollars on a fucking GoPro, it would actually focus. Um, good job. But yeah, so I'm going to tell you the, the pros and the cons. So I've been running both of these batteries. So I just got these. These on Amazon, I think I paid like $34 for them, the Yumi's, and they come in a pack of two. These I actually got for like $22.50. So they're cheaper. Much cheaper, actually. <laughs> so $20 LiPo's versus, what are these, like 30 What did I say? I don't know. I'm, my mind's so gone. I think I put like a, they're, they're like $10 cheaper. I'll try to leave a link for what I paid for them. I don't even know. I should have my laptop in front of me right now. To look at the prices. But I know I paid like $22 for these and these were more. Regardless, I'm not going to get in all that. My brain's fried enough. So what you guys really want to know. Are these worth the money? Hell yes, they are. I ain't gonna lie, I like the Yumi batteries. I really do. I've done a video on them. I've compared them to Gold Bats. They're better than Gold Bats. I got them in the three cells. So I got a set of two cells. So here's my current situation. Again, they come in a pack of twos. The Yumi batteries, again, these are budget LiPo batteries. So it's hit or to miss. It's hit or miss. Pardon my English. For guys uh, and girls who don't really know me half the time. Listen to me speak in my videos. Half the time, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. I talk a lot of gibberish. But at least I'm aware of it. Um, what was I saying? Alright, let's talk about C ratings. 50 and 80. I was highly, highly, both me and Jim were highly surprised when we ran this one. I thought these were going to just be garbage. And these actually kick the shit out of these. Power-wise, speed-wise, everything. Um, voltage can... Now, now, yeah, you're going to say 50C versus 80. 50C is a pretty good bit. You know, when they throw these 50 and 80 C labels, sometimes you don't really think you're going to getting that. Um, but you could definitely notice a power difference and a punch difference. I put this in the grave digger. I couldn't even keep the front wheels on the ground. These, it's much more mild. These are still good batteries. Don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing them. I like these batteries. But I was actually really surprised. These Garth Pots actually have some ass behind them. So in that aspect, for the price you're getting them for, on Amazon. These are really, really good. But here's what I'm going to warn you about. And this is the problem that I've constantly said about budget batteries. Because they are budget batteries. They're cheap. They're made in China. It says it usually right there on the back. Um, you know, they... they out there, they, they just mass produce them and they ship them out. There's no real quantity, quality control is what we call it. Quality control. So you never know what you're going to get. You might get a set of good ones. You might get a set of bad ones. Well, in this case, I got a bad one. This, the cells in this one, very off. I ran it. I charged it. Balance charged it. Ran it. Funny enough, I ain't going to lie. I don't know why. Me and Jimmy are witness to this. This is the bad one with the cells that are really off balance. This thing, I think this thing pulled harder than the battery that is charging now. 
The second one. There's my second one. It's getting on storage charge. It's perfect. All the way across. And this one seemed like it was hauling more ass. But the problem is, is you can't... You can run it, but eventually it's going to crap out. And it's really, really not safe to run LiPos unbalanced. I mean, this was like at 420. Um, 420. I don't know if it's 420 or 4. It's No, it is because it's 4.20. Anyway, that's how you look at it on the scale. And the other one was like at 3. Point, I don't know. 80. So me or seven five, so just a hair under. So basically, I mean that's all fine and dandy, but eventually, when you run that pack down, and the higher cell gets down to the cutoff point, then the other one's going to dip even lower. And that's exactly what happened. And eventually, that's just going to kill the battery, or cause a fire, or something bad to happen. So either way, you don't want to run your lipo batteries unbalanced. You want to have them pretty much. It's okay. If they're a little off, I mean, I'm talking about one or two number. Like if you have 4.20 and it's like 4.19, 4.18, that's fine. But if it goes, if it's like 4.20 and then one's like 3. Point whatever, 3.70, 3. Point, and now that's fuck that. It's ain't worth risking. But even with this being as far off balanced as I think it was. We tried it anyway to see if it'll smooth it out. And this thing ran fantastic. So I'm in a process of, I was trying to return it. I think Amazon is being really good about it. They're just going to send me replacements. Um, so yeah, I, other than the voltage problem, and really it's just no fault to anybody's. It's just mass produced batteries and you get what you get. These these Garth Pot, I'm going to guess what they're called, G-A-R-T. I mean, they, they kind of look, they have a weird name like the Gold Bats, which is kind of, like, I think that's the theme they were going for. But for the price, if you can actually get a set that are decent, they seem like they're pretty good the, the batteries as far as performance. They definitely outperform the U-Me's. Now, the U-Me's uh, power batteries right now, seem to be more consistent voltage wise i've ran these a couple times and they've held up pretty well but they're not nearly as fast and it's weird because you guys think well 7.4 7.4 yeah that's true they're both 7.4 but with the c rating and the punch level it's just essentially you're just opening your you're sucking power through something this big versus i don't know something this big this is the best way that i can explain it another positive that i've noticed on both of these batteries either which one you go for you may not want adc that might be too much maybe you just want something mild and that's good these would be perfect for that i'm not getting rid of these batteries i might need them for something that's mild sometimes i don't want to go crazy like maybe a crawler these would be good on you want fucking fast speed for a two cell this would work um and you really can't go wrong they're cheap and if you get them on amazon and you have any problems they'll just usually return them or send you new ones uh this one the gold pot Garth Pot, whatever the Garth, Garth Pot. It's not even an H in it. I don't know how to even say it. I call them Garth Pots. Garth, Garth Pot, whatever the hell they are. They have a generic Traxxas end on it, which I had to fiddle to get on there. Uh, the Yumi's actually have a real Traxxas connector on it. These have 12 gauge wire, while these are a little thicker at uh, 10 gauge wire so little differences there that has a standard balancing plug while that one has this newer style i don't know what the hell you call it but it's cool they both are hard pack with this plastic around them which is nice to keep them safe i marked that one so that one no that one's the bad one 
But uh, yeah, if you're in the market to get some cheap wipers, and I really wish I wouldn't keep telling you all this because then when I, when I want to go to buy them, y'all buy them out, and then I ain't got any left. But I highly recommend both these batteries. I haven't got a bad one. I mean, I don't have tons of batteries. I've been very lucky I haven't got a bad one of these other than that three cell you me battery that has a problem charging but the cells are fantastic on it so in the beard's opinion honestly both of these batteries are really good budget batteries and i highly recommend both of them this one pulls a little harder you might get you might you'll definitely get a little more out of this one than you will this one but other than that they're both very good batteries and i would i would purchase them again so I got two more of these coming, and I hope they work out for me. But yeah, as as long as they hold up, I haven't had them. I, I guess now we'll just see the longevity wise of them. Let's we'll see how long they last longevity wise. If they uh, if I can get a couple, you know, good couple years or so out of them. So that's all I'm gonna do right now, guys. Um. I might try to incorporate some riding. I also got my crawler coming to me. You know, my first one was defective. My Danchi, uh, whatever the hell that thing is called, Rock uh, Ridge Rock. I got two of them. Got a video coming out, hopefully, with those running around. I'm just waiting for mine, other one to get here, because the other one came and had really wobbly wheels. But I'll get into that on another video, because this is about the batteries. But I hope everyone has a good week. Stay safe. I'm not going to show my face in this video because I don't have my hat on and my hair is a mess. But I am the beard and I will catch you guys later. Happy battery buying.